question 1 says p of x equal to ax cubed minus 3x squared minus bx plus 6 when p of x is divided by x minus 1 the remainder is negative 6 given that x plus 2 is a factor of p of x find the values of the constants a and b hence solve the equation p of x equal to 0 okay so we are given our polynomial p of x as p of x equal to ax cubed minus 3x squared minus bx plus 6 and we are told that when x p of x is divided by x minus 1 the remainder is negative 6 so x minus 1 is 0 when x is 1 so we are saying that p of 1 is negative 6 next we are told that x plus 2 is a factor of p of x so what we are saying is x plus 2 is 0 when x is negative 2 so x equals negative 2 is a root of p of x so p of negative 2 is 0 we are asked to find the constants a and b we start by saying p of 1 is negative 6 what that means is a times 1 cube minus 3 times 1 squared minus b times 1 plus 6 is negative 6 so that's a minus b minus 3 plus 6 is 3 equals negative 9 equation number 1 we take p of negative 2 equals to 0 so we have a times negative 2 cube minus 3 times negative 2 squared minus b times negative 2 plus 6 equals to 0 so we get negative 8a minus 12 my plus 2b plus 6 equal to 0 so negative 8a plus 2b is going to be 6 minus 12 is negative 6 when it causes this equal to sign is plus 6 we divide by negative 2 we have 4a minus b equals to negative 3 equation 2 if we take equation 2 minus equation 1 we we'll obtain 4a minus a is 3a minus b minus minus b is 0 negative 3 minus minus 9 is 6 so a is 6 over 3 which is 2 we can then substitute a equals to 2 in equation 1 that will give us 2 minus b equals negative 9 so b is 2 plus 9 is 11 so a is 2 and b is 11 so we get the values of our constants a and b as such knowing the values of a and b we can therefore solve the equation p of x equals 0 so p of x will be 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 11x plus 6 we take the factor x plus 2 so we take p of x divided by x plus 2 so that will give us an easier method to factorize p of x completely 2x cubed divided by x is 2x squared 2x squared times x is 2x cubed 2x times 2x squared times 2 is 4x squared we subtract 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0 negative 3x squared minus 4x squared is negative 7x squared we bring down 11x plus 6 negative 7x squared divided by x is negative 7x negative 7x times x is negative 7x squared negative 7x times 2 is negative 14x 
you do the subtraction negative 7x squared minus minus 7x squared is 0 negative 11x minus negative 14x will be 3x plus 6 3x divided by x is 3 3 times x is 3x 3 times 2 is 6 the subtraction gives us 0 0 so our p of x can be written as the divisor x plus 2 times the quotient 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 we can then factorize completely f of x by factorizing the quadratic that 2 times 3 is 6 factors of 6 whose sum is negative 7 and product gives 6 we have mm, negative 6 and negative 1 so that's 2x squared minus x minus 6x plus 3 that will be x plus 2 the first two terms 2x is common to them so we have 2x minus 1 the last two terms negative 3 is common so we have 2x minus 1 so factorizing p of x completely we are going to say that p of x will be equals to x plus 2 x minus 3 and 2x minus 1 so we obtain p of x x plus 2 x minus 3 and 2x plus 1 yeah that is 2x minus 1 sorry 2x minus 1 not plus 1 so p of x is equals to 0 will imply either x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 3 is 0 or 2x minus 1 is 0 which implies x equals negative 2 or x equals to 3 or x equal to a half so that's the solution of the equation p of x equal to 0.